Testament, hey, if this is a family, then we want this every time we gather to be Thanksgiving. We want this to be Thanksgiving. And the reason I picked Thanksgiving is because Thanksgiving has quickly become my favorite holiday. It wasn't always because I came from a family, a pretty small family. So my, outside of my mom and dad, like the extended family are just, they're just dysfunctional and healthy and, and we love them, but we have no connection really to them. And so our holidays were like just me, my dad, my mom, and my sister. So we'd sit down at Thanksgiving, it'd be us four, you know? We'd have our Thanksgiving meal. Or at Christmas, we'd sit down at Christmas, and I don't know if any of you came from this type of small family, but you'd sit down at Christmas, and then like my dad would open the gift, and then we'd sit, and we'd look at it, and talk about it, and discuss it, and write a thank you letter for it. And then we'd move on to my sister, and she'd open her gift, and we'd all look at it. And, and that was like that. And, and, and then what happened was I married CJ and I married into a family that's the exact opposite. I, the, like, like not only are all the grandparents still connected, not only are there aunts and uncles and cousins and nieces and nephews and in-laws, but, but there's also a, multiple marriages. We love all of them too. Like they're all, we're all super connected, but there's half and step and there's all this stuff. So I remember the first time I'm 19 and I go down, drive down to CJ's family in Sacramento and I remember going to like Christmas and I walked in and there's like 40 or 50 people in the living room. And I was like, what's going on? She goes, this is Christmas. Why are all these people here? And then I'm, I'm like wanting to find out who's who. And, and I didn't know everybody yet. So I'm like, cause there's, again, there's like your dad, your stepmom. I said, well, who's that guy? And she goes, that's my, that's my brother, Dave. And I was like, your brother, Dave? I didn't know you had a brother, Dave. Is that your dad's side, your stepmom's side? And she goes, yeah, neither, really. <laughs> so I said, well, how is he your brother then? <laughs> and I, I'm not making this up. She goes, you know, I'm not really sure. He just kind of started hanging out in high school. <laughs> and uh, we just started calling him brother. And he's come ever since. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, that's not even legal. Like, you can't. He shouldn't be at Christmas. And then, and then we start opening presents and it was, they give me their present. I'm like, thank you so much. And so I start opening it. And then I kind of, I hear some commotion. I look around and 10 other people were opening gifts at the same time. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. I haven't even finished opening my gift. We haven't talked about it, discussed it, played with it, written a thank you letter for it. You can't open your gift same time. Like it was just, this is anarchy. Your family are anarchists. <laughs> so, so because of this, though, Thanksgiving's become my favorite holiday. I, it's a, every year we go over to our sister's house, and then it's grandparents and aunts and uncles and brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws and nieces and nephews, cousins. We all gather for all day. It's unbelievable. It's so much fun. And we get there, and, and, and we all, you know, everybody's jumping in. Like the whole family thing is like, we all jump in. Let's make this a great Thanksgiving. And some people are setting up tables and cooking turkeys. And, and when I got there at 19 years old, I have a job at Thanksgiving now. And, and I showed up at 19 years old. When I was there, somebody's like, hey, how you doing? Great to have you. Here's a bag of potatoes, sweet potatoes, and yams. And here's a potato peeler. <laughs> it's like, I guess I'm peeling potatoes. So I peel potatoes. Next year, I come back. So it's like, here's a bag of sweet potatoes, yams, potatoes. Here's a potato peeler. I peel potatoes. I'm 41 years old. I'm a senior pastor. I am Kim Walker Smith's pastor. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I have written books. And guess what I did at Thanksgiving? Last November, guess what? I peeled potatoes. Except for now, I've gotten so good at it. <laughs> I, bought, I, I got my own potato peeler from Japan. <laughs> oh, I kid you not. It's a Japanese variety and I have it. I bring it. I bring it. I use it like once a year just for Thanksgiving. I bring it. I'm going to make a holster next year. And I, I, I come with it. And I come and I, I peel potatoes. It's what I do. It's what I do. But, but here's the crazy thing. At Thanksgiving, like... It's funny because I don't have a passion for potatoes. I don't have a vision for potatoes. A prophet didn't call me out and tell me that I was going to, like potatoes are not a passion of mine. But family is. 
So, so I'm like, I don't have a passion for potatoes, but whatever I can do to make this the best Thanksgiving ever, and as long as I'm doing it with family, I'm good. I love it. I'm peeling potatoes, talking to my brother-in-law, we're having a blast. It, it's, th- there's this thing that when you approach family, it's just so different than anything else you approach. And they're just normal, natural things that you do in family that you don't anywhere else. 